Hello children. Welcome to advanced level general English lessons. So in my previous video, I hope that you can remember I discussed all the tenses. Mankar kaling padami kaling video ke tenses present tense past tense future tense. I discussed all the things and I discussed how to form their negatives, questions and negative questions. And I discussed the uses of present tense. Present tense bhavita karana krama. Simple present tense, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. E okkoma eking e karagana vistaratma ko katakara. The different uses of those tenses. Simple present. Gattham eka krama yakne ni. Eka bhavita karana vivida krama tiye no. Vivida avastha tiye no. So I discussed all those things. Now in this one now I am going to talk about past tense and future tense because I finished discussing present tense in my previous video. Calling video again on present tense discuss kara. Then past tense sa future tense. Other me pardoning api ganagam. Now let's have a look at this past tense. So when you when I say past tense, past tense ke nagar bato matakai, simple past, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous ke la hatra kapi ganagata. Simple past, he drank tea, past continuous, he was drinking tea, past perfect, he had drunk tea. Past perfect continuous, he had been drinking tea. So, those were the examples we discussed. First one, he drank tea. That is simple past. Simple past. This is used to indicate an action completed in the past. It often occurs with adverb phrases of past time. So, completed in the past. Now, let's look at that timeline which we discussed. timeline. Can you remember this? This side past tense, this side future tense, and this is now. Future. Past. Now. Then me mohoti. now. Indicate an action completed in the past. Any point in the past, atiti onam hota. Completed, finished, no connection to present. Vartamane to sambandhyakne. Completed, finished in the past, atiti siduna. Often occurs with adverbs or adverb phrases of past time. Past time, atiti mohota ganaki evena. Adverbs, vachanat evagi, kriya visheshanat tikkam tama use vena good akvilad. Right, look at this one. The class started at 7 a.m. Started at 7 a.m. Apito mitana 7 a.m. Started. Mitana the patangata you are right. Finished. Arambe. Right. So started. So at certain point in the past. She left the school last year. Last year. A certain point in the past. Atitiya mohata. Right. So when you tell about that moment. Yeah, is calling Ainguna, is calling Asuna, is calling Haragia. Last year, that is finished. Finished action in the past. Atite Siduna. Yeah. And the second one for past habits. Atite Tibun Purudu. Now look at the example. All, he always carried an umbrella. Always carried an umbrella. So it is a past habit. You can use simple past tense like that. He carried an umbrella. He always carried an umbrella. So that is possible, right? So that is the way of using simple past tense. 
you know simple past tense p past tense form of the verb kriyapade devani swarupiya paricchaya kare api he drank tea kiwi e wage he carried an umbrella ekata me wage always never we use those things he always carried an umbrella so that is the, there are two ways here we learn the use of past tense past tense paricchaya karana krama dekak api den igena gatta now next one is past continuous tense so we we discussed simple past tense and now the past continuous tense so when i say past continuous past continuous ke nura den matak wenno oni we used he was drinking tea was plus ing form of the verb then present continuous la kiwi is ek kriya pade ing ne past continuous was ek kriya pade ing e singular ek wachana nisa right he is singular he was drinking now this is used then ap in ek e krame use karanne etawata denote an action going on at some time in the past going on action right now we'll go back to the timeline once again we timeline came bell word theka this is this side future and this side past and here we'll say now so going on action sometime in the past not now not future then with me anagathi thimi sometime in the past atite going on action sidwemi inti buna deya no connection to present වර්තමානයට සම්බන්ධයක් නැහැ the time of the action may or may not be indicated ඒක සිදු වෙන වෙලාව කොයි මොහොතේද කියලා කියන්න පුළුවන් නොවෙ වෙන්න පුළුවන් just look at the example we were watching the match we were watching the match that is plural plural නිසා were අරන් තියෙන්නේ එක්කෙනෙක් නම් he was watching the match he was watching or sek ing past continuous nisa then that means in the past maybe from this this time from this time to this time no connection to present vartamane sambandhayak ne ya bala min sitiya he was watching apinang we were watching he was watching the match when i saw him mama yawa dakina vita he was reading a newspaper i saw him certain point in the past atite yam hotak api to me mohota kiyala not now man yawa dakina vita he was reading etot e welawe reading 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 kiyana patang atite kalin e welawe siddu wemin tiwuna so atite siddu wemin tiwuna deya he was reading was plus ing form of the verb so that is how we use past continuous to tell something that was happening in the past atite sidwimin tibuna deyak kiyanna thamai etoda past continuous use karanne now with that now let's go to next one past perfect tense past perfect tense means now when i say past perfect now idea should come to your mind now then past perfect kiyana kota oya ge oluwata den inno ne api kalin katha karala thiyenne now the example sentence i gave was he had drunk tea had samaga kriya pade tung wenne swarupaya past perfect drink drank drunk to had samaga past perfect right this is used to describe an action completed before a certain moment in the past completed an action before a certain moment in the past right so it is so so something like this if i explain this side past future and this is now 
completed before a certain moment before a certain moment atite yam mohota ita kalin before that ita kalin vecha deya in the past right so it shows two actions and which action happened earlier than the other it shows two actions ekak me mohota ita kalin vecha de tora actions dekak tiyenawa ekak अतीत यम मोहतक इट खालिंग विच दे तमे उन्न पास्ट परफेक्ट बिफोर पास्ट पास्ट बिफोर पास्ट व्हेन द टीचर अराइव्ड द चिल्ड्रन हैड क्लीन द क्लास वी विल से टीचर अराइव्ड लंगा उना मे मोहते दिस इज नाउ दिस इज पास्ट मी अतीत ने सो वी विल से टीचर अराइव्ड एट Eight. Then children had cleaned the class. Panti pirisu the kriyami. Thoda ita kaling vichcha de. Thoda two actions. One is arrived. The other one is cleaned. Thija paminiya. Panti ita paminiya. Anitte ke thay pirisu dukara. Thoda paminiya that is past tense, simple past. Ita kaling vichcha de before past. Ek apni kiya na. Had dik past participle had cleaned. Lamai pirisudu karala tibuna. Feminia ita kalim pirisudu karala tibuna had cleaned the classroom. Past perfect. When I reached the station, mama station nikatlanga wana vita. The train had left. Then there are two actions. One is reach. Mama railway station nikatlanga wana vita. A certain point in the past, atite ya mohota. The train had left. We'll say that I I reach at eight. Train had left. Gihilla thi buna. Yenang ita kaling train nikal gihilla thi. One action before past. This is past before past. Ita kaling si. The check ya pi kani past perfect toling had left. When I reached the station, the train had left. Reached past tense manglanga vena vita train ik gihilla tibuna had left. Past before past. So I hope now it is clear the use of past perfect tense. Past perfect tense ik then bavita kan vidip hedi mangita. Simple past and past perfect tense. Keep that in mind when we use simple past, past continuous, and past perfect, and then past perfect continuous. Now let's see here. This is used for an action that began before a certain point in the past. Began. Began means started. Patangatta before a certain point in the past. Yath atite yamho thagata khali pera. And continued up to that time. Ati the patangatta continued. Sidwe min tibu na finished. No connection to present. Present told us ambandya kne. Ati the patangatta sidwe min tibu na ati the mi oru na. Now just look look at this example. At that time they had been playing cricket for three hours. At that time a mohte. They had been playing chellam karming in the latibuna for three hours. Kayatuna. So then started to play certain point in the past. Atite. And we'll say that they started somewhere here. Chellam karana patanga timihari. Chellam karming tibuna. Then by this time finished. तो मिन में कहाँ ले तो लसी दुवे में तिबुना दे आप ये क्या नहीं पास्ट कंटिन्यूअस लें पास्ट कंटिन्यूअस मींस हैड बीन प्लस आईएनजी फॉर्म ऑफ़ द वर्ब राइट रिमेम्बर दिस हैड क्लीन पास्ट परफेक्ट सी दुना राइट द ट्रेन हैड लेफ्ट गिहिल्ला तिबुना द चिल्ड्रन हैड क्लीन द क्लासरूम लमाई Pantia Pirisdu Karala Tibuna had cleaned. So then now 
teacher arrived at 8. Before that, children had cleaned the class. Class is maybe 7, 7.30 to 7.40. Class is maybe 7.30 to 7.45. Maybe 7.30 to 7.45. Then children had been cleaning. Past perfect continuously. Children had been clean in the class. Children had been clean in past perfect continuous. When the teacher came at 8, huh? children had cleaned. So then that is past perfect and this is past perfect continuous. I hope that is clear to you. And now let's look at future tense. Future tense. This is used for an action that has still to take place. Still to take place means anagati sidhuene. Tam sidhuene na sidhuvelatne to be in future, right? Anagati. Still to take place. Example. And when I say simple future, we actually discussed this earlier. We calling katakara. Then simple future. Kyu hai tiwata matakwe noi. It is will plus first form or the base form of the verb. Kriyapade mul sarupe. Will samag verb 1, infinitive, stem, the base form. For example, they will start the function at 10 a.m. Will start patangani vi, patangani, the function at 10 a.m. They will start future. Not yet started. Tam patangarane. Patangani vi. They will start the function. So patangani the height. She will go. Future tense. She will go abroad next week. Alabanasati pitrate hai. Abroad pitrate. She will go. Future. That will happen in future. Simple future. And future tense. Then this is simple future. Future continuous means to tell about an action as going on at some time in future time. This is simple future anagate vehicle. Future continuous anagate veminti vehicle. Now just have a look at this one. When I reach home, Mama Langavana Vita, mother will be cooking rice. Future continuous. Now I am going home. Mang on the then get the reano. Mama get the reano got a amma. We are mean in the Vianagate karaming in the dea. Future continuous. Mother will be cooking. My brother will be playing. Will be plus ing form of the verb. Future continuous. So when you want to tell something that will be happening in the future. You can tell in this form. I will be studying in the university next year. Then you are hoping to enter the university. So you can tell something that will be happening in the future. By 2030, I will be doing a job. By 2030, the I will be doing future continuous. Mama Rakiava Karaming in the EV. Something that will be happening in the future. Anagati Sidhvi Minti Ekinai. Next one. For future events that are planned. This is something that will be happening. For future events. Anagati Sidhvi Deva. That are planned. Salasum Karapu Sidhvi Ma. Example, he will be meeting us tomorrow. So now you have planned to meet him tomorrow. There are planned action. He will be meeting, will be plus ing form of the verb. He will be meeting us tomorrow. Will be meeting. Future continuous. Right, you can use in these two ways this tense that is. Future continuous tense. Now you know how to use simple future and future continuous tense. And remember them and use it. And the next one. 
future perfect tense now first simple future future continuous now the future perfect let's have a look at it to indicate the completion of an action by a certain future time anagate yam mohotaka di sidu vela complete vela sampurna vela thi kiyala hitana action ekak kriyawa now here i will have finished my assignment by next friday next friday is future next friday kiyawa anagate anagate e mohota wenakota man mage assignment ekak iwara vela thiyevi දැන් මේ දවස්වල මම කරගෙන යනවා ඒ වගේ අදහසයි. එතකොට I will have finished will have plus past participle form of the verb will have එක past participle form of, that means verb 3 finish finished finished ed verb 3 right so then that is we use the future perfect tense and the next one future perfect continuous future perfect continuous let's see this is used to indicate an action represented as being in progress over a period of time that will end in the future now let's see that indicate an action yam kisi kriyawak hanga wana mona the represented as being in progress siddu wemin kiyai कोई भी लेते नाउ पास्ट नो फ्यूचर अनागते सिद्धि मिंगते ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यम किसी काल परासे अक्तूला दैट विल एंड इन द फ्यूचर अनागते पटांगनी अनागते सिद्धि मिंगते अनागते इवर वे नो कनेक्शन टू प्रेजेंट नाउ लुक एट दिस एग्जांपल व्हेन ही गेट्स हिज डिग्री व्हेन ही गेट्स हिज डिग्री या आगे डिग्री के लाभ ना बीते he will have been studying will have been studying at university for 4 years will have been studying study karaming indala thiyevi at university for 4 years asara hatara so that is future continuous so then so these four way simple future future continuous future perfect and future perfect continuous and hope these four are very clear man hitanne den ye krama hatara anagata kale kiyanna bhavitha karana krama hatara matakai pahadili and try to use this and make more and more sentences and practice it now by doing these kinds of exercises you will get an idea how to find answers for these kinds of questions the me wage abhyasayak karala api balamu kohomada api hariya tense ekak decide karanne kohomada kiyala now we have learned all the tenses present tense past tense and future tense but we have to decide which is the correct answer for this one right let's see first one my mother blank within brackets the word is given wake wake up at 5 am every day so what is the correct now when you look at this the me wage ekak balana kota honda sampurna wakyama kiyawanna metanta vitarak kiyawala uttare daala issarata yanna ba sampurna wakya kiyawala therum ganna one me mona tense ekinda kiyawenne apita anduru ganna pulan lazy em meke ek wachanayak thiyena every day and api tenses igana ganna kota we learned so we use simple present tense to talk about habitual actions kiyala api igana gatta neida puruddak wasen karana dewal kiyanna api simple present tense use karana kiyawa ena metan tenno ni everyday happening hamadama siddha wena deyak ne hamadama pahata evidi awadi wena then the better answer here is my mother wake up here wake my mother singular eka wacha ehnan kriya pade singular karala yanne wake up at 5 am every day see how you find the correct answer balana api nivaradi pilithoru hoya ganna vidiya 
मेतन वे क्यू वाले बे मुकद्दे मादे सिंगुलर इफ द सब्जेक्ट इज प्लूरल यू कैन पुट द प्लूरल वर्ब एंड नाउ यू शुड नो द सिंगुलर एंड प्लूरल फॉर्म्स ऑफ द वर्ब्स एंड द नेक्स्ट वन द अर्थ ब्लैंक मूव राउंड द सन द अर्थ यू नो पृथ्वी अ मूव चालने वे ना राउंड द सन हिरुवाटा गमन करनो so how do you write so it is is it happening now yes it is happening now also then it siddha vimin tiyena ega namu tapi kiyena wada ko present continuous ali no this is something it is we call general truth which we discussed earlier api kalin katha kare simple present tense is used to talk about general truth samanya siddha vim satya vasayam siddha vena deva and never changes we na sweni na just like that the sun rises hirupayana e wage ma thane ega samane sidu wena not change so then you can write this one in also simple present tense me na meka tapita e tense ekema tiyanna puluwan then we can say the earth moves it should be simple present tense because the earth is singular na meke सिंगुलर फॉर्म में किन तैयार नॉन राइट नेक्स्ट वन डोंट डिस्टर्ब मी ओ मटे खराब दर कराने पा डोंट डिस्टर्ब मी आई एम दिस इस देन डोंट डिस्टर्ब मी इट इस नाउ देंग मी अन्य मटे खराब दर कराने पा है ना आई एम एक ने देंग करने में ना जाक पे नॉन आई स्टडी रॉंग हम इगर ना करना क्यों बोलते हैं सामान्� me thank when don't disturb me now it is telling me mohote kiyane na this should be in present continuous i am studying i'm studying don't disturb me mom me study karami ne mata gata dar karanne pa so that it should be in present continuous form because it's happening at the time of speaking Next one. It started to rain. Wahinna patangatta while we blank volleyball. Volleyball. Then within brackets play. Sellam karana kota the karama the karaming inna kota the. So it started to rain. That means there are two actions. So you are talking of two actions. Vasa patangatta api. यामा करमिंग इन्ना कोटा सो रिमेम्बर व्हेन यू यूज व्हाइल द नेक्स्ट एक्शन इज इन आईएनजी फॉर्म इलान क्रियाव सिद्ध विमिंग तीना अपने ना सेल्लम करमिंग इन्ना कोटा वहीं ना पटांगा था सो देन यू कैन यूज देन हियर पास्ट कंटिन्यूअस फॉर्म व्हाइल वी यू कैन यूज प्लूरल फॉर्म वी वर प्लेइंग Past continuous atite. So started. Why inna patangatta? Monoila the selam selam karami inna gorda. While we were playing cricket or volleyball in past continuous. And here I blank thirty next birthday. In my next birthday. Ilang upandi ne vana gorda. Then now you can decide the tense. Is it past tense or present tense or future tense? Next, me watching up to gana pula. Next, kiwa me ilang ay nang future. Then this should be said in future. Ay nang anagiti sidwe kila itna dia. Ko madiki ay nang we learnt when we were talking about future tense. I am at thirty. Tiha we mangi ilang ay upan dini di. I future you you know you tell using will i will be 30 next birthday next birthday ilangu pandini man ti hakwe avurudu next birthday i'll be 20 25 any as you feel right so then that is talking about future so now you see for different sentences you got different tenses 
මේ එක එක වාක්‍යවලට එක එක ටෙන්සස් ආවේ ඒ ටෙන්ස් එක තෝරගන්න කොහොමද කියන එක පැහැදිලි so when you fill in the blanks when you do exercises so when you answer some questions in the question paper also you have to judge oba harita thirne karanna one harita vinishaya karanna one me mona tense ek inda liwala thiyenne kiyala so there are some words indicating time kale apita andura ganna puluwang wena wachana thiyena if it is yesterday last year e wage wachana thibuna that is past tense right now ki word then tomorrow next year right next wednesday next poya day e wage wachana wen apita andura ganna puluwang whether it is past tense or present tense or future tense mona tense ekida andura ganna puluwang right so decide that and also next you have to decide whether it is singular or plural ek wachana da bahu wachana ekak dana ganna e anwa you have to complete the blanks now next one number 6 he blank live in this village for 20 years avurdu vissa this village for 20 years me game avurdu vissa you can say he lived also possible jeevat una kiyanna puluwan niya etawata no connection to present habe jeevat wemin indala tiyena kiyuwothe ya me game avurdu vissa jeevat wemin indala tiyena so if you tell in simple past tense you can simply say he lived right that is simple past tense ya jeevat vela thibuna kiwana he had lived kiyanna puluwan jeevat wemin indala tiyenawa e kiyanne now ya me gami wasara 20ak jeevat for 20 years wasara 20ak jeevat vela tiyena then you can say he simple then this is present tense he has been then this should be an ing form living he has been living in this village for 20 years ya me gami ji aur 20 ak jeevat wemin indala tiyena even now he is in the village danu tya gami samata idiri rat inna puluwa samata padinchi wenas karanna puluwa e wage yatta if you use here had he had been living in this village for 20 years it is also correct but different meaning had paavichi koru e thari abe theruma vinas wenawa ya e game jeevatwamin indala tibuna wage etawada no connection to present so see the correct tense and look at number 7 she thanked me for what i she thanked me balan verb is in past tense atita kale ena ya mata stuti kara what i do mugadda what i do do is present tense mama karapu deyata ena winnone mata stuti kare mama karapu deyata ena you have to use the past tense what for what i did do is present tense past tense is did do did next one we blank get our results by next year ha uh, there is one word for you to guess in which tense should it be and by next year this word tells the time next year labana avuruddha wana vita our result api prathipala apita labe enan future tense you can decide the tense enan apita labe na we it should be future we will get we will get our results by next week laban satiya wana vita apita prathipala labe next one number 9 i blank with them brackets by a new car last week so here last week tells us the time etawata atithe kiyena apita andura ganna puluwam metanin metanin next week kiyuwama anagathe ena last last week past tense 
So then I then past tense. What is the past tense of by? By boat. I bought a new car last week. I bought a new car last week. Yes, I am going to buy a new car. I am going to buy next week. I am going to buy I will buy future. Then you have to decide the tense correctly. If you have to read the tense correctly, you will have to read For that, you have to read the complete sentence. If you have to read the tense then with the blank, then only you can decide the tense. Right. Let's look at the next one. By this time tomorrow. Ah, the word tomorrow gives us the time. Whether it is past or present or future. Tomorrow means future. By this time tomorrow, I answer the question paper. Prasna Patreta Mama. I will answer the I will answer keyword Uttara De. Me will have it. The best answer is me will have Yamak Sidvi Minti. Mama Dana Mata Heta then. We bagati. Then Amma me will have it. Heta I will. Then you have to tell in future continuous form. Right. I. I will be answering answering I will be answering future continuous I will be answering the question paper mama prasna patrita pili through the mean in the ev right I know that will be happening in future the heta me lai me de sidwi min thiye kela man hondata ma danna then you can tell that in future continuous form. Right. So then there you understood how to decide the time and the tense. There are some words, there is something even in a paragraph, right? So then first thing is that you have to read the complete sentence. Sampurna vakya kevala. So, judge, you have to decide exactly whether it is singular or plural or whether it is so present tense or past tense or future tense. Then you can easily find the correct answer for any blank. So, here, so far we this, now in this lesson, we discuss past tense and future tense. With, with past tense, you discuss simple past, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. And also future tense, simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. And did a small exercise. How to decide the tense. Tense ka hari ta tiri nikala ko humada punchi blank ka fill karani. So now it gave you a good practice and try to do more and more exercise of this type. Mewagi tawa abhyasa karan. And also practice these tenses more and more. Tawa practice karan. And try to remember them and so that you will be using correct grammar in speaking and writing. So, me tika harita matra hitiya gattu waage grammar varadina wa guda kadu. Right? Because you have covered all three tenses. The me tenses tuning tamai kiyana o nama deya kiyanda venni. Ko liyana deya kiyanda venni. So, there is no other tense. Everything that we speak, everything that we listen, everything that we read and everything that we write. Apita ahena. Api kata karan, lian, kewan, me siyal lam tiye ni me tense swelling. To past tense, minatam present tense, future tense. Oye kaalat ni ngare mokut then. So then, study this one again and again. You can watch this video again and again. And remember and note down certain things and practice more. 
and do more exercises. How do you do that? So, if you are okay with the tenses and you are going to be okay with grammar in English, English or grammar, then you will be able to do So, then hope to meet you with another lesson. Our next lesson will be talking about the plural of these things. Api meeti ke kata kare, tenses wala well singular. And the plural, let's see how to do these kinds of things using plural of tenses. Right? Tenses wala well plural form ne kapi ilanga paadami de kata karam. So then until then you practice this tenses singular forms and have a good practice and use correct grammar in reading, writing, listening, speaking and everything. Right? Especially speaking and writing. Okay. Until we meet with the next lesson.